good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time you're watching this video guys welcome back to the channel thank you for always coming back to watch my videos if this is your first time on the channel welcome my name is jeff i'm from uganda in africa and make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel leave a comment and give this video a like so today this is a special video uh, it goes to the series of the lifetime podcast so this video will also be posted as an audio version on podcast on our podcast platform the lifetime podcast so if you're listening to the lifetime podcast this is also in the video format on youtube make sure you go over to youtube search jeff ochaya and make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel so today i'm having a guest with me uh, this is a quad stainer he's a friend of mine and he is a forex trader uh, he is a pastor and he has been a close friend of mine he's a graduate and he's going to give a more organized introduction of who he actually is so <laughs> welcome my friend thank you so much uh thank you so much uh, uh jeff uh Chaya for hosting me first of all on your youtube channel uh it's a real privilege to be speaking out to all different viewers uh like you said my name is stain or uh, i'm a forex trader uh as well i'm, I'm a pastor as well thank you yeah yeah so stena yes it is a pleasure having me you on my channel thank you for the first time thank you yeah so stena we have we have been friends do do you remember how we got to know each other yeah sure yeah. I, i do remember i i knew jeff long time ago uh when we were still in the high school yeah yeah um, actually i knew him via a man that really would love to study and uh, you know very very intelligent in terms of academics and also very hard working that's yeah. how i come to know you jeff yeah <laughs> so me and stena we went to the same secondary school yeah chitgum comprehensive college yeah. that's where we studied he was he was in his a level me i was in a level yes. i was in a level uh sina fast no six Yeah. yeah and i was in senior four that's when we we got to know each other he was a pastor i really enjoyed his preaching yeah. and we got connected we also have a mutual friend together we have actually come a long way we have come a long way absolutely yeah yeah almost since 20, 2013 until now we are still pushing so the purpose of this video is to bring to you someone out there who is looking into exploring alternative careers so what is the data is it told you is a forex trader then forex trading is not something that has been for a long time here in Uganda even globally forex trading uh, being a retail trader a retail trader is small trader the market individually was not there yeah it uh, wasn't there some years back true there used to be insti- institutional mm-hmm. traders yes, yes. so uh, forex trading generally is not only new in uganda mm-hmm. it's also new globally for retail traders so i saw him dedicated to the uh, to the trade and i thought why not bring him on my channel and interview him maybe one or two people what we discuss yeah. and take this professional trading seriously make a thing out of it and that's why i thought of this this, this interview so basically uh, stand up I, i would like you to enlighten us on what forex trading is before we dive into the interview <coughs> how you got into it well thank you so much once again uh, my brother jeff uh, you asked really a wonderful question what exactly is forex trading uh, forex trading is uh, 
basically the buying and selling of currencies. Um, uh, forex trading, there are different types of you know forex trading. There's this uh, the physical forex trading, exchanging cash. You know, you go sell, uh, you exchange uh, UGX to, uh, to to get a dollar. So uh, it is more of an online business. So there is a the physical exchange of money, but this one I'm talking about is the the online business of buying and selling currencies. Yeah. So forex trading is basically buying and selling currencies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe to, to simplify with an example, if you are from Uganda and you go to Kenya, uh, you go with your Ugandan money, you are there in Kenya, you cannot spend that UGX. Yes. You have to get what? Kenyan money, Kenyan, Kenyan shillings. Yeah, absolutely. So when you go over the counter and you say, exchange this, uh, give me the Kenyan shilling. Yes you would have bought the Kenyan shilling, right? Yes, yes, yes. But the price at which you buy is not going to remain the same. The same, yes. The price will change. Next time you come, maybe the price has increased, increased or, or decreased. decreased yeah. If you find that the price has increased and you buy at the new price, mm. you make a profit. Profit, yeah, sure. If you find that the price has reduced, you make a loss. Absolutely. And if you have learned basic commerce or basic economics, you know that uh, price of goods and commodities are affected by demand, demand and supply. And supply. Yes. The same with forex trading. True. If you go and you buy Kenyan shillings with Ugandan shillings, and a lot of tourists have gone also to buy the same Kenyan shillings, mm. because a lot of them want it, the price of it increase. Mm. If you go at the point when the, the people who want a few, the price would have decreased. So at the basic basic level, I think that is what we're trading. Absolutely. Is. Yeah. Yeah. So, Stena. Yes. Uh, I know that thinking of forex trading is not the first thing that you think about yeah. when you you starting out career after like graduating in the university is yeah. not the first thing that comes to your mind because it's not a true uh, something that was there before true so maybe you talk a bit about uh, what you studied and you dream before you even knew about forex yeah and how you got into the job world mm. and i want to see that that world there that existed before you even went into forex trading mm. Wow, thank you so much. Um, first of all and foremost, I had a lot of uh, ambitions and also I had dreams, big dreams when I was really still young growing up. Uh, I wanted to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to be a lawyer. So be, being, uh, you know, coming from from uh, no, uh, from from a lower family, you know. Yeah. You really try. You really try so hard to really make out things like perform so that you can achieve your dreams. Yeah. And also, we had uh, like for example, from the family that I came from, we had financial limitations, yeah. of which now it really became so hard for me to actually achieve my goals. So I, when I finished my high school, uh, uh, A level, I I wanted to not to go to a university and study law. But things never really worked out because my father was actually not really or wasn't able to pay that amount of money mm. at, at, at the university. So I ended up going for, you know, a National Teachers College. I know actually I'm a, I'm a professional teacher. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm a professional teacher. So after uh, finishing from the National Teachers College, I came now to the, to the job world, yeah. you know, taught in some of the schools in Kampala. So I started looking life in different perspectives, like how long will I continue living this kind of life? Yeah. You know, struggling, you, you eat from hand to mouth, you know, the money that you get, the salary. At the end of the day, by the month ending, well, by the time the month is ending, you are what you will be in debt. Yeah. Like you will be, you know, serious debt. So I, I thought it why. So I decided to come back to northern Uganda. Uh, finding at least something that I can do or oh, either I had in mind of learning a new skill yeah. that really can really make me some good money yeah. so that was now during lockdown yeah. during lockdown when I was alone in the house when 
everything was shut down completely. People had gone to the village, so I was alone at home. So in the evening, I started thinking that what kind of business I can do now since everything is locked. So an online business came into my mind. So I started learning about many types of business, about uh, digital marketing, uh, affiliate marketing. So from there, I started now getting the skill a little bit, but all the way uh, learning through the skill, there was a, some some way or the other I needed to pay what money to get the actual course of yeah. learning what uh, the the the, uh, the, 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 the the materials like you yeah. know, to, for you to learn how to do marketing well. Yeah. So I didn't have the money. So what I did just uh, there was a few people that was doing money. At the end of the day, you could pay some money to learn what uh, the marketing uh, business. So at the end of the day, forex now came in. I was watching YouTube and some ad came in about forex and it started coming to my mind like, what is really forex? So I started studying to prepare and learn and I thought it was so easy teaching up yourself. So basically that's how the journey started. Now in 2021, uh, 2021 uh, towards the end of uh, COVID-19, that's when I started being serious with forex. Yeah, yeah being really serious with forex. Now in 2022, that's where I now I uh, finally met I met a mentor mm. who who helped me, you know, like uh, fueled me up as well to be really committed to learn, yeah. really seriously. Being a you know, specifically in the field I was teaching, being a teacher, yeah. uh, I'm a t- I'm a t- uh, I teach art and design. Yeah. So basically, even in that profession, there you can make money by making a lot of designs. Yeah. You can sell them down. So I was kind of making money through that area. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, you have that thought in mind that how long will I continue to do this kind of life? You get it? Because I wasn't comfortable yeah. with that. So that's where now I started thinking of alternatives of making money. Yeah. You see, by by looking at life, like when I reach 50 years, how will my, you know, everything be? Like, you know, I cannot do this profession for 50, uh, maybe for 30 years, uh, for almost 30 years, then I go back home rest and then wait for time to you know mm. to rest mm. so that's what really came into my mind now mm. getting into learning a new skill a yeah. high income skill yeah. that you remember story. that one moment when you decided now to get onto the the trading itself yeah mm. wow it it, it it took a decision you know the first thing is you have to get annoyed of the current situation that you're in you are in that messy moment, like, you know, you're all drugging yourself, struggling. So, I, it was really, it was painful, like, at that moment you're starting, you, no one was there to encourage you, like, you know, get serious with this. But I kept pushing myself, drugging myself into this thing until uh, the, the, the material, all the knowledge itself was too hard, I couldn't grab it very well, but slowly by slowly it kept sinking, 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 and sinking. Until things now started kind of being easy for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I wanted to know, like, the specific time when you decided that this is it, the trading, because you were trying to look at different skills, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were trying to look for different skills. Yes. But the moment when you decide that, no, let let mm, digital marketing be, let selling ads online be, let this one be, this is it for example. Yeah. So what that moment was the time where I, when I was learning digital marketing, mm-hmm. reached a moment where I needed to pay to learn what digital marketing. That's what I said. I don't know how to find it. What would I do now? So an ad pop, popped out. Some guy was talking about learning how to trade forex. Mm-hmm. You do then. Uh, I said no. Let me first search about this forex thing. So I started searching about it. The knowledge was not like you know that one of you know digital marketing where you need to subscribe to someone, mm. uh, give pay some money to have access to the course. Mm. This one, the knowledge was just on internet. Mm. So I started reading from there now. I started picking the interest and also seeing the successful people in the industry. Mm. So it encouraged me that in the same way, I can also reach somewhere. Yeah. I can also be there. Yeah. As time goes on, so I kept this mind that within a certain time frame i'm going to be somewhere yeah. after acquiring this skill yeah. so that's how where now 
I, I got picked interest yeah. from trading because the knowledge was on internet from YouTube, mm-hmm. learning from different kind of people yeah. who are posting uh, no, uh, knowledgeable yeah. material, I mean good materials. Yeah. 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 What are the pathways that you that now you recommend to up and coming forex traders, people who just want to get on? Mm. I'm asking this because there might be someone watching over there sure. who's seeing this forex trader being interviewed mm. and is wondering how do I get started? Mm. For you, you saw an art, an art. then true. you went uh, through the rabbit hole of mm. looking for information sure. all by yourself. And then now, for someone who is studying, where can the person get started for forex trading? Mm. Yeah on the stuff okay for someone starting uh you know forex trading uh the first thing that you need to is the knowledge mm. the knowledge you have to get the knowledge first yeah because you have to the skill is the most important thing yeah like uh in my journey it wasn't easy it was tough yeah you I had to sacrifice some money that i had you know buying internet uh buying data yeah after data you know yeah. spending the entire day inside indoor yeah. indoor from morning up to midnight yeah. you know learning the skill so i had to put in a lot of energy so the first thing is because uh, many people who, are, who come into this industry they want to you know come they enter in the industry today and tomorrow they want to make money yeah so it's not, it's not going to work that way it's like someone who wants to someone who goes to the camp uh, to the university yeah. you, you you pay tuition you stay there for almost three to four years yeah. you get the what to get a degree yeah. so it's the same way with forex forex is a business you want to have a career in forex industry yeah. number one thing is you have to have the knowledge yeah. knowledge is the most important thing yeah. you have to get the skill first yeah. before you start thinking about money yeah. that's it yeah and also um with uh with the industry growing we have people different different people can teach for uh, who teaches forex yeah. different mentors who can teach you how you can trade and you get the skill within a short period of time yeah. if you're really willing to learn yeah. that is it yeah. so i also did a bit of, 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 uh, so if you're a beginner uh, he's going to confirm if, if what i'm saying is <laughs> right yeah but there's three steps that you need to first take mm. the first one is to get to know the basic the basics, yes. Okay. What for trading yeah. is building blocks. Yeah, the building blocks. Yeah. You can study it on YouTube. Mm. Search for the knowledge. Mm. Don't look for how to flip ten dollars <laughs> to ten thousand dollars in one week. Yeah, no. yeah. Look for what is forex trading. Yeah. What are those basics? Basic and you get to understand yeah. the basic information of yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one website that I see really, really valuable. Is what the Baby pips. The baby pips, yeah. yeah there's a baby pips. there's a course on that website called the School of Pipsology. Pipsology. Yeah. I'm going to link uh, that website in the description of this video, mm. so that you can get started if you want to get started. Mm. So the first step is what getting to know the getting basics. To know the basics. Then once yeah. you understand the basics, you need to know the market. The market itself mm. now. That's where where you you get to understand the chart. Mm. Yeah. The yeah. factors that influence that chart yeah you get to understand price action yes, how exactly how everything plays out right true true, true yes yeah there are also fundamental uh, aspect of the market yeah. uh you have to know the geopolitical uh, uh aspect of the market yeah. you know different politics in different areas geographical locations there are certain uh, uh events that happen in certain countries yeah. that can move the market yeah. so especially like let me say in new york or united states of america Anything can happen there within that political environment. Yeah. It can affect the, the U.S. dollar yeah. uh, pairing, or maybe Euro USD pairing. Yeah. The, that, that kind of pair. Mm-hmm. So that means, so the market is a vast uh, industry. Yeah. So anything, anything that happens across the globe, it affects even the market. Yeah. So that's why we have uh, the, the economic news, the high impact news. Yeah. We have the like the way you say that the technical perspective of the market yeah. is also yeah. there. Yeah. That all these are uh, things that someone has to learn yeah. when it's beginning. Yeah. So the third step is practice. practice. Then 
the demo you account. practice. Yeah. If you have not practiced for at least 100 days, yeah, you don't have enough data to understand whether you are you making progress True. or not. True. Right. True. Yes. Yeah. So those are the basic three that I think uh, I think I think would be much important for a beginner. What for, do you think? Yeah, yeah. For a beginner, you can actually start from there. You know, learning the the basic foundation. Yeah. Uh, after learning the basic foundation, you jump to the charts, yeah. where now you begin to learn about different candlesticks, yeah. formations, and also different the difference between the buyers and the sellers yeah. in the market. And also, you know, that is the technical perspective of the market now. Yeah. Then uh, there are other advanced courses now, yeah. like risk management. Yeah. You know, then money management as yeah. well from yeah. there. So that's where a beginner can start from but there are other advanced courses that someone can subscribe to mm. and changes or her trading journey you have given at least a start of, mm. for someone to get started if someone wants to get started so uh, i want now to go into your day as a forex trader mm. how do you go about trading I just want to understand the pr your own practice of trading. Okay. All right. You you begin the morning. What do you do then? Okay. What do you do next? Okay. Like that. Okay. The first thing that when I wake up very early in the morning, I do is I start with prayer. So he has this morning devotion where him and other Christians yeah. wake up to pray. To and. Yeah, they have a WhatsApp group. I'm going to link it in the comment section, in the description of this video. Yeah. If you're a Christian and you would love to be in the fellowship of other Christians, you can join the WhatsApp group. It's totally free. It's just for prayers. Just for prayers. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's continue. Yeah. So when I wake up early in the morning, I pray God fast and everything. So after prayers, I do some more of uh, push-ups. Um, then later on, I have a shower. So shower after showering, then I step onto the charts yeah. and see what is happening in the market. Yeah. Because uh, I prepare for London session. Yeah. So the, I have my own criteria of, of how I trade yeah. uh, London session. Mm. So I wait for market to break uh, either below Asian range or above Asian range. Yeah. Then I start seeing ways of what executing my trades around there from yeah. maybe. From my uh, 11 uh, 11 a.m. in the morning, mm. yeah, uh, Ugandan time, yeah, yeah. So that's where now I look for entries in the market, yeah. and then maybe make uh, a reasonable risk to reward of one to three or one to two. Yeah. Then I'm off from the market. Yeah. So and also maybe I wait for other opportunities during uh, New York session because yeah. I'm a day trader. Yeah. So I wait for other opportunities during a uh, New York session. If I don't find opportunity. Then I close the chart, I do something else. Yeah. So, so that's how my day is. So, so in the evening hours, uh, I have time now to move out, you know, mm -hmm. uh, hang out with some friends. Yeah. Yeah. Have well, well, one question I yeah. want to ask. Yes, please. Uh, as, as a trader in the morning, of course, you have talked about how you get it started. Yeah. But one most important uh, component of, uh, of, of a, a, a trader's morning or beginning session is analysis. Yeah. How do you do your analysis? Like when you're analyzing, because I know there are two parts mm. where you analyze the chart itself, mm. then analyzing other factors that affect the chart yeah. other than the price action. Because the chart, true. you will see the price yeah, action. It, it is true. Then outside the chart, what do we call is it? Data or fundamental? Fundamental analysis. Yeah, fundamental yeah, analysis. Yeah, yeah. Talk about those two things. If a forex trader who is a real forex trader is watching, mm. will I think find it so vital. It's true. As the beginners, we will just listen. True. <laughs> yeah. The first thing, like uh, when I jump to the charts, uh, I, I see what is happening. Yeah. Then when I'm done, I make sure I, I check also uh, the fundamental part of it. I go to Forex Factory. Yeah. So I check the high impact news yeah. of that day. Yeah. So that means if I don't have the high impact news or there, there is a bank, so there automatically I know that there will be what a low volatility in the market yeah either during london we might not see those big spikes yeah. in the morning hours or maybe we shall see some little bit spike in the evening hours yeah so basically i incorporate uh fundamentals 
and the technical analysis yeah. to know where the market is going to go to. Yeah. So uh, that's what I normally look in the morning. But the first thing that I look in the morning, I look if trade sweeps the Asian high or the Asian low. Yeah. So I, I then I wait for opportunities to get into the market around that time, around 11 o'clock in the morning yeah. hours. Yeah. So basically, after making thorough analysis, there are specific pairs that I trade as well. Yeah. I don't trade all pairs in, in my in my in my, in my watch list. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also now back to the for us the normal human beings <laughs> who are not trading. Yeah. <laughs> So the purpose of this video is actually to inspire and motivate you guys to consider uh, career opportunities that are alternative careers yeah. outside of the normal careers that you have been taught of. Mm. Because one thing I want to open your eyes, you guys, on is that we are now in a global, global setting, mm. right? True. The world has opened up. You see, back then, uh, in the days, uh, like not so far back then, yeah, Africans like ourselves could not participate in the global economy. Which is true, right? Yeah, like I just, I, I can just remember 2008 mm. alone. There was a statistics that there are only there were only 214,000 Ugandans who are connected to mobile yeah. internet. Mobile internet. That was not so far back. Yeah, it's true. Right? It's, it's very true. Meanwhile, globally, people were already participating in the in the global economy. True. People were participating building software. Software true. alone is software industry is the, is the five hundred thirty something mm. billion economy. Mm, right. It is true. Even forex is a eight hundred billion economy. It's true. Content mm. creation like this one mm. is is a one hundred fifty billion economy, economy yes. right? Yes, and most of us have not been exposed to that before, True. right? Yes. When do you remember when uh, the time when we, we first had smartphone? Uh, okay, my first time of uh, touching uh, a smartphone. I don't I don't know whether it's a smartphone. It was in 2009. That was touch screen. That was a touch screen. Touch yeah. screen. So I started seeing uh, you know smartphones in 20 2013. Yeah. Yeah, honestly 2013. Yeah. That's where I started seeing what smart uh, smartphones yeah. coming in now. Yeah. And I saw it from my from a friend of mine, yeah. and uh, I was really very happy even to hold it in my hands, yeah. because uh, it was quite wonderful and, and, and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm trying to mean that is that even just ten years back, mm. some of the opportunities that we, exactly, the younger generation, people in our twenties and thirties, have the opportunity to play in, yeah, were not there. True. So if you're an African from any African country mm. and you're watching this video and you're seeing these opportunities people are opening podcasts people are starting YouTube channels people are participating in forex trading people are people are building softwares learning coding people are doing all this stuff that mm. have been made possible by the advent of the internet True. don't take it lightly right Mm. Don't take it lightly. That's why I'm trying to bring stories like this so that you get motivated and inspired. Like currently, this kind of stuff that we're doing, people don't see it as something that is viable. It is true. But in other parts of the world, it is true. The yeah. same interview that I'm having, mm. someone has invested in a in million dollar studio to do this kind of interview true. as a career mm. and as a business. True. Right? Yeah. I I, I I thank God for forex trading yeah. because uh, it has given me an opportunity to to it has given me f first of all financial freedom. Let me say forex trading for the last three years or four years it has been really something that has been growing, yeah. especially in Africa. Yeah. So uh, my greatest encouragement is uh, all the young people, like uh, someone who you know you come from, really that know the background yeah. you have no hope for anything you yeah. really you don't have anyone to help you yeah. the only advice i would give you is just learn how to trade forex 
Yeah. And then you will bail up yourself yeah. from any other kind of situation you're going through. Yeah. So just look long term. Yeah. See that after two years or three years, I have to be somewhere. Yeah. So it's all about dedicating yourself. You go through the pain. Yeah. Yeah. The pain is going to be there. You will break down yeah. emotionally. You it will be hard on you. Like when you lose money again, collecting yourself to come back yeah. the same chart with the same energy. Yeah. You know, it's part of life. Any yeah. business, there are bad days and good days. So you you, you you cannot say that I'll be winning. Like I'll be on a winning side every most of the times. No. They are always going to be there's going to be the, uh, the bad times and the good days. Yeah. So remember that if you are long term, if you're thinking long term, you're yeah. going to beat the market. Yeah. You're going to beat the market. Yeah. So basically, that is it. Yeah. yeah. So I know you're someone who followed this forex trading industry in both, both local and yeah. international. Yeah. Can you maybe? Tell us some of the stories that you have seen people succeeding in the forex world, yeah. especially globally. Mm. And some of the stuff that you feel like can motivate someone out there that it's can true. take it and say, yeah, yeah, maybe some of the statistics or whatever you have seen that you think yeah. you would love to share. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, what really motivated me now to be really so serious with, yeah. with, uh, with trading forex is... Uh, one of the person that I consider to be my mentor yeah. is one who motivated me because I had no one who would be the one who me. Because most of them, the, the people that I know who are successful in this industry, most of them I, 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 I learned a lot more about them on the internet, yeah. like on YouTube. Yeah. I'd watch their lifestyle, they were living yeah. the life that I, I was desiring to live. Yeah. So the person that really inspired me is actually someone who is on the internet. Person doesn't want to be on spotlight. Yeah. So when I had an, an encounter with him, I had time to chat with him. Actually, he's very successful in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. So he inspired me a lot. He encouraged me not to give up, to continue learning, yeah. and also he gave me some key, 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 key advice. Yeah. So I took them. I'm still riding with them up to now. Yeah. Yeah. So I was inspired by quite a many, many, uh, many traders. Yeah. The most forest traders they move in the same. They they go through the same path. To be successful yeah. so when you see a successful trader there were there was a time where that person went through tough moments hardship yeah. almost gave up yeah. because of the, the losses and everything yeah. so it, it is part of the journey yeah. losing is part of the journey so there is going to be a time where you're going to see what light in the tunnel sure. you reach that moment where you say wow i think now i'm a very successful person sure. so starting is not easy yeah. but as long as you continue persisting and being consistent, not giving up, yeah. you at the end of the day you reach where you want to be. So I was encouraged by this specific mentor, which I will not disclose the name. Yeah. Uh, so he encouraged me a lot. So that really gave me hope and strength that yeah. one day I will be that great person. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So having having mentioned that. Uh, one of the things that I've also seen uh, mm. common in these alternative careers, let's say even forex trading, mm. uh, even even YouTube on mm. itself, mm. like to be successful, you need to mingle with other people who are successful. Exactly. You can't succeed alone. It is true. And if you can't get a mentor, that's even the best. Mm. If you can get someone to hold you by the arm, that's mm-hmm. actually the best. The best, because you're going to save so much time. True. That would you would have wasted mm. going down different rabbit holes mm. trying to find information. Mm. But when you meet someone who has done it, been there, done that, mm. they can tell you what you need to do yeah. so that you can succeed. Yes, true. So, I've also seen you doing some something to do with coaching people on forex trading to help other people who want to get started. Mm. Uh, maybe you talk a bit about your program also, and we we shall put a link to uh, to a way to apply his coaching so that you can get coached by him. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put a link to a form that you can fill and you get coached by him. Yeah. Talk about your program. Yeah, talking about the program, uh, I own 
uh, an academy called Forex Woods Academy. Uh, it teaches uh, uh, young people or your elderly person who want to learn how to play Forex. Yeah. yeah, it's where you we, we come, you, you come, we, we teach with the knowledge and the skill. Yeah. So if you're willing and also you have to be committed and yeah. also committed to learn yeah. because the first thing is getting the knowledge first, yeah. getting yeah. the skill first before yeah. you start thinking about money. Yeah. So we have uh, an academy where we shall leave the, the link in uh, the description below yeah. so that uh, you can do what? You can apply and be part of the, the academy. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically, I offer trainings, uh, train people how to train Forex. And also we offer skills yeah. for people who want to make, uh, you know, make money. Yeah. They're not willing to learn. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, you know, they commit themselves. But you can yeah. also take Forex as a side business. Yeah. So we can send to you signals as well. We have a group. Where we have traders, where we share signals with them to trade and make money. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. So you you're doing a, a wonderful job. You're doing a wonderful job. So as your how, how are you balancing it with your pastoral work? Wow. Um. Of course. Uh. Someone would say, how can you be a trader and then you be a pastor? Of course, you know. Uh. Being a pastor is one of the things that I really love to do. Yeah. Uh, so, so trading doesn't affect my pastoral work or yeah. serving God. Yeah. Reason being that I trade from Monday to what? Yeah. To 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 Saturday. I mean to Friday. Yeah, yeah. So that means not even not every day I am trading like so I'm on exactly. trading making money. Exactly. There are days I can have three or four setups yeah. during the course of the week. Exactly. So that means maybe from Friday mm-hmm. evening. Saturday, I'm there into my what? Yeah. Pastoral work or, you know, spirituality, building yeah. my personal life yeah. or have a, having other activities exactly. outside Forex. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, about career, what I've, I've seen is that it's important to focus on one thing. Mm. That one is important. But we cannot rule out the fact that we are multipotentialized. We, we as human beings we have multiple potentials right yeah, yes yeah and we desire doing other things mm. and uh, the best way to be able to do other things is to also pick one other thing true. in addition to the main thing true as you keep the main thing the yeah. main thing right true. Yes. because basically even from the olden days you get born as a kid mm. then when you're born as a kid you, the first job you're going to do, you will be a shepherd there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. At a certain point, you will become a warrior. Sure. At a certain point, you might become a trader. Yeah. A trading in the trading center, selling stuff. True. At a certain point now, you might become an elder. But when you have had several careers down the road, it is true. so it's something that we have grown with. Mm. And also, when you are doing one thing, it becomes monotonous. Yeah. You need to have another thing. Sure. That's why I'm doing YouTube, but there are other things that I'm also doing Absolutely. that you might learn about later on. Mm. Ab- about locally, I've, you, how, how are people trading locally in Uganda? How is the trading industry in Uganda? If, if a trading friend from Nigeria is watching and is wondering, how is it <laughs> like in Uganda? Okay. Um, what is the trading scene like? Okay, the trading environment uh, scene... Uh, looking at Uganda mm-hmm. specifically, yeah. Uganda we are growing up. Uh, the industry is growing, right? But not compared to West Africa, yeah. uh, especially you know Nigeria, Ghana, and then uh, and then and then South Africa. Yeah. They have gone more ahead into the industry. So Uganda is quite picking up. But I, and also I, I really appreciate the effort other forex traders yeah. in the country who are really pushing up this industry, carrying this industry to the yeah. next level. Yeah. And also Kenya, I think Kenya is ahead of Uganda yeah. in the industry. So yeah, in forex industry. So basically, it is pushing up, coming to the home city that I stay in, in Gula yeah. here. Uh, basically, there are few forex traders, although maybe there are other traders who are trading low key, who are trading yeah. low key. They don't want to be known. Yeah. So basically, there are no, there are no, there are not really much, you know, many traders in Gulu. Yeah. But I, I, I want to appreciate because of the intense mentorship that is happening with different forex traders. We are, we are seeing now 
people coming in, young people coming in uh, yeah. to learn Torex and also taking it as yeah. uh, an important skill that where yeah. they can make money. Yeah. So generally speaking, uh, the industry is growing yeah. in this country. Yeah. yeah, the industry is growing. It's pretty, pretty, not really, not really bad, but yeah. it's growing out well, slowly by slowly. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, there are some good number of uh, full-time traders who are making it in the industry. Yeah, the, we have uh, good numbers of traders who are really yeah. making up in industry, in this industry, mm. who are really their, their inspiration, yeah. inspiration in terms of you know they inspire other people to really work really well. I don't know whether I can even name some of you, them. You can name it. Yeah, right. we have, uh, you know, public figures. <laughs> public figures. I remember, for public. I remember <laughs> I, I attended one of uh, uh, Forex Bull uh, Expo here in Gulu yeah. by Big Dollar. Then I, uh, I don't think one Patrick has already reached one of the guys who really inspired me. Mm. We have uh, the Forex Giant. Mm. Uh, he's one of the guys that is really making it well in the, yeah, in the yeah. industry. He came here in Gulu. They had an an expo with uh, FX Pesa. Mm. So really learning from these guys has really helped me a lot. Mm. I've seen the emotional part of it, how they execute their trade. So it has sharpened my skill. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. How about regulation in the forex industry? Yeah. For us, the YouTubers, we, we get taxed like normal businesses. How about you guys? <laughs> Are you eating free money not being taxed? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, forex money cannot be taxed. Tax. Okay. Reason being that, uh, you know, uh, okay, okay, we have uh, maybe through when you're making withdrawals and deposits yeah. in your brokerage account. Yeah. These are companies which are regulated uh, and I believe they pay tax. Yeah. Yeah. Talking of uh, the Forex brokers, mm. what brokers uh, are you using and would recommend? Uh, there are very many brokers in the Forex industries okay, which really gives us the opportunity to connect to the market. Mm. The one that I use is Xness. Mm. Uh, Xness. Basically, I use Xness. I would prefer you mention the local ones. The local one. Yeah. Uh, the local brokerage within the country. Yeah. Uh, we have Xness. We have uh, uh, FX Pesa. Uh, Xness is not local. It's not local. Xness is not local. Mm. Okay. Anyway, I don't know the local brokerage within the country, yeah. but these are the ones that I use majorly. So X Xness, I don't, know, I don't know where they're from. But I know Xness is, is not local, it's not a Ugandan company. Yeah. Uh, however, um, FX Pesa is a Kenyan company. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you guys are watching me and you are connected with FX Pesa, yeah. make sure you get in touch and you sponsor this video. <laughs> you sponsor my videos. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Because I'm giving you free, free what? promotion. Absolutely. Yeah. We are living in such a moment where people who are going to rise up and use this opportunity even from africa they yeah. are going to see some of us some people who are currently in their 20s and 30s yeah. really making it big in all these different industries that we have actually mentioned sure. in the future to come because the opportunity that we currently have at our age where we are looking for opportunity yeah these opportunities are not common opportunities. Yeah. They are rare opportunities that never existed, existed yeah. for people who came before us mm. when they were in their twenties and thirties. True. Right? True. But we are in our twenties and thirties and we can access these opportunities. Mm. Right? Yeah. So those who are coming after us, some of them might not be able to take uh, uh, fully leverage this opportunity for very many reasons. True. First of all, right now, they are not well equipped yet. Mm. Some people are still in secondary school. Absolutely. Some are still, they still don't have n nothing. Mm. They don't have device, they don't True. have what. Yeah. Later on, when they are able, by that time, there would be a lot of competition. Absolutely. Right? True. right now in Africa, you can make raw videos and you post on the internet, you go viral. Mm. Those things will not happen in the future. Mm. It will not. It won't happen. You 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 blow up with YouTube short. Mm -hmm. You do just videos you have not edited. Yeah. You have filmed mm. with your phone. Mm. It's currently available. Yeah. But in the future, it's going to be extremely hard because anyone can will be able to edit 
like very polished videos even using ai and all those stuff true, true. competition will be extremely high mm. and this is the best starting point if you have ever thought of starting anything on the internet be it youtube channel or whatever this is the time for you mm. don't sleep on it yeah. so guys i want to say <laughs> I just want to say that thank you so much, Jeff, for hosting me today. Yeah. I just want to encourage someone that is out there. Yeah. This is the time to make that bold step and uh, and do something towards your future, your destiny. For the sake of your family members, do something. Yeah. Wake up. Even you in Europe, United States, you know, wake up. There are yeah. many opportunities there. Yeah. You can do something with your life. Yeah. And make money. Yeah. Thank you. Like you said, do something. Even if just subscribing to this YouTube channel, turning on the Do notification something. bell, yeah. so that you get to see more videos and yeah. more opportunities that we're going to talk about yeah. on this channel. Yeah. Leave a comment uh, to this video. Let me know what you think about this kind of video. Let me know other alternative careers that you would love to me to get some other people to come and talk about on mm -hmm. this YouTube channel, sure. or even the the normal career. Uh, that you want to see other people out breakthrough mm. in any industry, let me know in the comment section. Sure. I'll look for the people that you want and bring them and interview them on this YouTube channel. Sure. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. See you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>